to the Fucking Idiots Podcast! Motherfuckers! Yeah, it's your national underground, thunder pounds, and I stop the ground. Like a million elephants, a silverback, a rank of tanks, you can't stop a train. Who wants up, don't come unprepared, I'll be there, but when I leave Fucking there, Idiots! It's, so named, it's your boy! Stank bastard, king idiot, back in the building once again. Finally, it's week two. Where you been, Stank? Right? Uh, I don't know. Universe, you know, struck my house by lightning. I fried my entire setup, and uh, now here I am, week two, recording the very first Bucking Idiots episode of the season. And maybe that's a good thing. You don't want to hear me with my Kyle Trask, blah blah blah. All this. You don't want to hear all that. So uh, now we know kind of what we got. Maybe a little bit, a little sneak peek into what this Buccaneers team may actually be. Bake looked good. Defense looked incredible. It's promising, right? We beat a good team on the road. Uh, Shit we don't typically do when the expectations are, uh, are low. And they were extremely low. I mean, we're about to hit our, our win total, right? This week. We play the Bears. Everybody's picking us now. Oddly enough, right? Holy shit. Now the Bucks are, are, are you know, favored in the game. Um, yeah. I'm confident, which is probably a bad sign. Because uh, typically when I am confident, <sighs> shit doesn't go well. And that's my PTSD, right? That's the stank LDE, as Latte likes to say. Um... But uh, I don't know. I'm oddly confident. Oddly confident. Bears team's rolling into town. They don't look good. They look a hot mess. And um, I think we're trending upwards. I kind of <laughs> kind of like Baker Mayfield. kind of like him. It's weird. Seems to be a fucking hell of a leader. He's got to see some behind-the-scenes footage of him. You know, out there rallying the troops. If I hear that word moxie one more time, though, I might kick my dog. So I, I uh, that annoys me. But uh, anyways, I'm back. And this is more of like an informative show. What is the who are the bucking idiots? It's it's me. Uh, typically, I got my boy G.O. the O.G. The the O.G. bucking idiot. Uh, we started this show together years ago. Audio format only and then transitioned to video. So you can see my ugly face. Uh, and then we've got a, just a ragtag cast of characters who always call in the, uh, the ride or dies, the, the, the ones who've been around forever and the, they must like this weird shit I do. And, um, I'm happy to do it. Honestly, missed you guys. And, uh, without further ado, I got some voicemails. My nephew from Cali ghost. How you doing ghost? What up uncle Stank? What up? Sam, you know what? You never know when when you're gonna turn around and the ghost is gonna be right behind you. You never know. He's always around. Proceed. It's Ghost in SoCal, aka Sam in SoCal, and I'm gonna just make this quick. As an Antoine Winfield Jr. enthusiast, I like that. We should all be enthused about that guy. He's a fucking beast. I'm spreading the love by saying hashtag P Ant Man. And you know what? Throw incentives in there. Little bonuses. For every practice he does barefoot, give him bonus, you know, dollars. The barefoot bonus? That guy's going to be rich because he's always barefoot. That's my barefoot brother. You know, me and him out there chilling barefoot on the field with everybody sweating, spitting, doesn't matter. That's how you get strong. That's why, you know, Carlton Davis, it it, it may not play this week. Feet aren't strong. That's going to be every time. Because he's always practicing barefoot. And yeah. And Bucks going to win 31 to 10. Definitely. 31, right? That's the Bucks magic number always. Book it. Dave Canales is going to have himself a day offensively. Bull is going to do the usual defensive master class. And yeah, go Bucks. Go Bucks. Miss you, Ghost. Man, easy as that. Uh, we also got a call from my mama. Our mama, Mama Michelle. How you doing, Mama? Fucking idiots are back. Hell yeah. Finally. Hey, it's Michelle. And I am very excited about this season. And I want all of the national media to eat their words. 
Fuck you, national media. How you like us now? Because I think we're going to be better than they say we are. Definitely. Um, Already are. Just got a good feeling. And you know me and my feelings, Stank. I do. <laughs> I'm excited about Canales. It was so nice to see an offense that wasn't predictable. Oh, my God. That was so refreshing. It was a little hairy in the first quarter and a half. A little bit sketchy. I even put out, you know, a little little uh, worried tweet. But uh, they got the ball rolling, though, thankfully. And I'm really excited just to see what we can bring this year. Um, yeah, I was upset when Brady left. But, you know, on to the next. And He needed to go. Anyways. Maybe Baker is it. Never know. Maybe. Anyway, glad you're back. Glad um, to be back. Go Bucks. Go Bucks. Mama Michelle in the building. But, it, you know, it's... It's just good to be back, man. It's good to be back. It's all positive energy. Speaking of energy, Brother Lou, you know, the 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 godfather of the Buckin' Idiots podcast, the first voice you hear after Outcast. What's up, Lou? Thank my brother. My brother. It's about motherfucking time. There is no Buckin' Idiots without you, Lou. The Buckin' Idiots show has come back. Yep. Hallelujah, baby. We got a fucking Bears motherfucking game that we got to play on Sunday. Kind of sounds like a bear is breathing in your ear right now, Lou. At the Big J. <laughs> Leave nothing to doubt. Because we're going to shave some fucking bear and fuck that bear ass. Fuck that bear ass? Yeah, probably. Hopefully. Then we won't make a rug out of all that fucking bird, motherfucker. That's right. Yeah. Leave no doubt. Leave no doubt. But yes, sir. Uh, Lou, did you hear they're trying to wear orange in the, in the creamsicle dome? Get out of here with that shit. Yes, sir. Uh, oh, it's so good to be back on the fucking idiot show. Thank you, my man. And your mother. Yeah. And we're gonna lay the law down. Two and all dubs. We're gonna come hard because we can't come at all. At all. Unless we bring it all. Jack and balls on the table, motherfuckers. Yeah. Two and all bucks. Let's go, motherfuckers. Woo! Lou had a bear in a chokehold right there. You could hear that thing just gasping for its last breath. I like it. I like it. You know, I'm recording this Thursday night. And Lou is just, you can see he's simmering. He's hes marinating. Because we all know Lou. Normally, we got to take the headphones off. Right? We got we to gotta step back a little bit. Because Lou's going to blast your brains out. And that's the energy he's going to bring. You know it. Jeremy in Naples. What's good, Jeremy? Fucking idiot. Jeremy from Naples here. Let's go. Let's fucking go. We're back at Ray J. Let's be loud on third down. Fuck the Bears. Fuck Let's em. hope Todd Bowles continues to coach not to lose. Right? Going forward on your own 30, fourth down, or 32, whatever it was. I like it. I think this year's team might be a little bit more light on the defense, obviously. So it might be a good thing because I think Devin White in the contract year is a guy that's going to ball out. That's definitely going to benefit in the Bucks' favor. Let's go. Go Bucks! And as always, fuck the Saints. As always, fuck the Saints. Yeah, if you're new to this podcast, that's how you end every call. Regardless of who we're playing. Because it's always fuck the Saints. 24-7. 365. Uh, it's just how it is around here. Every team we beat, we envision like the Saints. You know that that man who's, you know... He, he, he's laying down with his wife and he's thinking about another girl. That's us. Every week. Oh, we got left up in here. We got, uh, let's see, Michelle, Lou, Jeremy, Ghost. Who's this? Uh, yes, thank. Uh, nobody missed you. Nobody missed this terrible show. Fuck you, Betty. Nobody cares that you're back. Nobody. Yes, they do. You hear you. You hear people, yo, bitch. How are you? 
How the fuck are you still alive? Ew. Why are you calling? Uh calling in. Nobody wants this shit. I have no idea why I'm even back here, to be honest with you. <laughs> Boredom. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah. You know, this is, this is a good show. This is a good show. And you come in here with that energy? I hope you die. Why aren't you already dead? Yo, bit you. Oh, God damn, man. You're banned from this show. Zach. West Virginia. Right now. Over me. Stank. It's your boy, Zach, from West Virginia, calling with a take. Where it's legal to have sex with bears. Chicago. Really? Who likes wind? Who? 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 I fucking hate wind. There's nothing more annoying. People are like, oh, I don't like sand. I fucking hate wind. Stupid ass wind. Who likes deep, cheesy ass pizza? Nobody. Lasagna That's pizza. Who. So this week, it don't matter if you're the Chicago Bears, the Gum Bears, or a cocaine bear. Bucks by 30. Fuck the Saints. Bucks by 30. Fuck the Saints. Fuck gummy bears. Like one of the worst, most trash candies on the planet. All gummy related candies can go fuck off. Unless they're, you know, filled with some special ingredients. No. What am I mean? But then that's just, all that is, is just a, 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 a chariot for goodness. But the gummy, nobody, what are, you, what are we, six? Good to be back. It's good to be back in this chair, in this room. Good to be back. Next week.